So today I'm going to try and make some black ink using uh, some charcoal that I ground up from the charcoal that I made. Um, I have a couple different recipes here. One of them uses gum arabic which I don't have so I'm just going to omit that for today. But got a couple different recipes. I'm going to try them all and I'm going to uh, test them on a piece of paper and once they're dry I'll compare them uh, to see which one is the best and the best one I'll make a little bit more uh, so that I can have a little pot of ink. So let's get started. The first one is going to use it says lamp black which is basically what you get from holding a piece of metal or something over candle so that the soot flecks on it. It's very very fine it's much finer than the charcoal I could grind up with the mortar and pestle but <clears throat> I'm still going to use charcoal and it, so for this recipe I'm going to use half a teaspoon of charcoal then <clears throat> half a teaspoon of the egg yolk and then honey to thicken it up so absolutely not enough egg yolk just going to add the egg yolk so I've mixed up the egg yolk and the charcoal. I've got a pretty good consistency here, I think. Just gonna just gonna try it out. So I'm going to add a little bit of honey and see how it thickens it up. So here's the egg yolk, honey, and charcoal mixture. This one is going to be charcoal, egg whites, and then honey. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to use charcoal and vinegar, about half a teaspoon of each. Watch this one. I'm going to add some honey to the vinegar, try and thicken it up. Alright, for this next recipe, I'm just going to use charcoal and water and see if that works. If it doesn't, if it's too thin, I'll add some honey. See if that works because that works uh, really well with the vinegar adding the honey. So I have an, another idea for a recipe, uh, it's going to be 
again, half a teaspoon of charcoal, but I was thinking that if people used water and honey in the back in the day, it might have fermented. So I'm going to try alcohol in the form of vodka and uh, see how that works. So it's a half a teaspoon of charcoal and probably again at least a three to one ratio. So the vodka looks like it's working okay, but the viscosity, I guess, is lower than the water and the honey, even just by on the basis on the base level. So I'm going to add honey to it, try and thicken it up. I think this is the best one so far because the alcohol is going to evaporate much quicker than the water or the vinegar. That's going to leave you with the drier ink faster and the charcoal seems to dissolve really well in it so I think this is the best one yet So the egg white didn't work really at all. It's always separated from the charcoal. It didn't ever really mix together. So I'm going to dump that one out. The egg yolk works better than the uh, egg white. And uh, it seems to be the best at holding the, the pigment onto the paper without it rubbing off. So that's that's a positive in the egg yolk department. But uh, I did a test with the vinegar, the honey, and the water. As I see, saw how much I could wrote, write um, with one dip of the quill. Uh, vinegar got the most with 13. I just wrote numbers. Um, water was kind of the control and then vodka did about as good as water did but they're still not dry yet so I'm gonna let them dry and uh, see how resistant they are to smudging stuff like that okay I left the ink to dry for a couple hours and uh, Here's the water test. This one's just water and honey. Um, this one worked okay, but you, as you can see, uh, it still rubs uh, after it was after it's done. So it smudges a little, especially if it's thick. Like this is still wet after a couple hours. So with the honey, I I don't think honey is the best thickener for this type of ink, a charcoal ink. Uh, this is the, the vinegar test. Similar results. Um, I think vinegar did a little bit better than the water, uh, but it's still smudging with the honey. Uh, and, and like the ones where it's really thick, it's, it's never going to be dry. So I, again, the honey is, is not the best. Egg yolk did better than I expected. Um, I put some egg yolk with some vinegar. That one works pretty well. Um, it's probably the best of the three that I made, as well, uh, except when it's thick. But even even when it's thick, it's a lot better than the honey. So egg yolk, uh, egg yolk, so far, is the the winner which I didn't, I didn't expect, at least for smudging and stuff. Uh, 
it's still, I gotta find a way to you know, thin it out maybe with some water or something, but it still smudges. And this is the vodka with honey. Again, uh, this one smudges. Not it's similar to the egg yolk, but at least when I'm riding with it, it always goes real thick on the first one. So again, that's not a great thing. So today's test, good info. The honey, uh, it, it thickened it up enough so that I could write uh, similarly with it, but it's not the greatest at drying, I guess. So I'm going to go buy some uh, gum Arabic and try this test over uh, with the water, vinegar, vodka, and the egg yolk. Or egg, egg yolk, not the egg white. Egg white didn't work at all. Um, so, I'll try that. Again, the, the egg yolk worked okay. Um, I don't know how long it would last, though. Uh, I also made a, a berry test. This is just uh, raspberry ink. I took some frozen raspberries and microwaved them a little bit so they would be uh, uh, at room temperature. And this sink is a little bit of raspberry ink, about half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of vinegar, and half a teaspoon of salt to, as a preservative. This one's the best of them all. It doesn't smudge at all. It soaks into the ink, or soaks into the paper. And, uh, I mean, it just stays on there. Even this, the one where it's really thick, I can feel some, some grit, but... It's not smudging at all, so the, the raspberry ink so far is the best. Over here, down here, I added charcoal to the raspberry ink. And, uh, I guess the charcoal bits don't really soak into the, to the paper because they're, they're too thick. Maybe if you used, like, finely ground, more finely ground charcoal, it would work better. But the color didn't really change that much uh, when I added the charcoal. Um, but... The raspberry ink so far is the best. So uh, that's it for today's experiment. I hope you learned something, and hopefully the next experiment will go better. Because I want a I want a black a black ink. Um, so I'm gonna try dragon later. Thanks for watching, guys.